more ways to extend a helping hand. The financial programs we design with our business partners focus on creating a safety net for devoted employees. We believe secure and happy employees are essential for successful business. Good afternoon to our Zoom participants and good afternoon to our FB Live viewers. Welcome to another e-learning session powered by Arriva Academy. It's Terrific Tuesday today. And our topic is COVID-19, Google and you, boosting your productivity using Google tools. My name is Irish Malanda Samson. I'm your host. And with me is my co-host and moderator and Arriva partner speaker, Mr. Howell Vima Balot. Hi, sir. Good afternoon. Hello, Miss Irish. Mabuhay ang mga Pilipino. Mabuhay. Yes, sir. So, shall we start? But sure before, before we start, before you introduce our speaker today, let us first greet our out-of-the-country participants. And they are from Bangui, Central African State. Wow. New Delhi, India. Thank you for joining us today. Chennai, India. Simarang, Indonesia. Jakarta, Indonesia, Kota Kinabalu, Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Koror, Palau, Palm City, Papua New Guinea, Doha, Qatar, thank you for joining us, Singapore, Bangkok, Thailand, Dubai, United Arab Emirates, Abu Dhabi, Los Angeles, United States, Denver, Minnesota, and Chicago, United States, thank you for joining us today, and I will... I would also like to greet our participants from Tourism Promotions Board. Hello there. From Mega World, Mega Wide, DepEd. Sir, we have teachers today joining us. Wow. Yes. EEI, Federal Land Inc., Kitoson and Carpo Consulting, and Toyota Autis. Thank you for joining us today. And in order for us to have a smooth flow of our e-learning session, here are the following house rules and reminders. So we would like to know who are the first-time viewers here. Please type hi in the chat box now. Let me see. Who are the first-time viewers? Hello, Rufa, Maria Bella, Christine, Carissa May, April, Charlene. Welcome to our e-learning session. Okay, Sonia, Miss Fatima, welcome. Okay, let's do a sound check now. So you will be needing a good quality headset and please use the following code. So we would like to check if you can hear us, hear us loud and clear. So type in 111 in the chat box now if you can hear us clearly. So far, 111. Thank you, Miss Aida, Lourdes, Chrissy. Okay. So type in 222 means you cannot hear us. 2121 means the sound is breaking. 
And question mark if you don't understand anything. Okay, Margaret, Roxanne, loud and clear. Jenny, thank you. Roberto Cola, loud and clear. Ezekiel, wow, we have lots of participants today. Okay, and moving on, we will be having a quick break later after the presentation of our guest speaker and before we move on to our question and answer portion. Participants' microphones will be temporarily disabled by the administrator during discussion to avoid interruptions. Questions will be entertained after each topic of the session. For questions and clarifications during the provided time after each topic, please click the raise hand button for the administrator to enable the microphone for live questions. Later, for the Q&A part, we will entertain live questions. Type in your questions at the Q&A box. One question at a time will be entertained. For comments and feedback, please scan this QR code. This will be directed to our feedback form. Please send us your comments, suggestions, topics to discuss in order for us to improve our future e-learning sessions. And now to discuss COVID-19, Google and you, boosting your productivity using Google tools. Sir Howell Mubalat, please introduce our guest speaker today. Sure, Ms. Iris. Thank you for the opportunity and uh, the honor to introduce our speaker for today. He is a freelance international capacity and organization development or COD practitioner. He has more than 35 years in training, design implementation, and at the same time, evaluation of capacity and people development, initiatives in various developments, and institutional context. He is an engineer, an MBA majoring in operations management and PhD in organizations development, specializing in systems dynamics. He is a faculty of the ILO Turin Center in Italy, South New Hampshire University in USA, PhD in economics and OD, and Mekong Institute, Thailand, project management and ASEAN integration. He sits at the boards of ODPN, S-E-R-D-E-F and A-S-E-F. So, ladies and gentlemen, a global Filipino, let's all welcome Dr. Ed Canella. Hi, Dr. Ed. Hi. Hi, how well? Hi, Nice, Hi, nice to see you guys? again. We're, we're, we're well. We're good. Me too. Me too. Thanks God that I am still all right. I noted that we have quite a lot of foreign participants. Yes. I like it very much because I have worked in already 75 countries. Wow. Besides being a handicap, you, you have seen me, Howell, right? Yes, yes, personally, oh, sir. It is really, really nice to be mm -hmm. engaging with other people. But it, I'm becoming more and more afraid that this might not be so in this global pandemic. So anyway, let's begin our session. Sure, um, sure, Ed. So what will yeah. happen, sir, is... Uh, you may still see me here at the Zoom room. However, via Facebook Live and YouTube, they will only see you and your PowerPoint presentation. Will okay. that be okay, sir? Yes, I will feel so alone, but nonetheless, if that is the case, then just I'll, with me. I'll be with you via yeah. Zoom, uh, via, via our Zoom broadcaster, Ed. And uh, you know, when I saw you, the first time I saw you, I never saw someone who was physically challenged. I, was, uh, I saw someone who was intellectually gifted, truly humane, a real human being who loves the people he, he loved talking to or giving and, and sharing his wisdom to. So thank you, Sir Ed, for that. So take it away, sir. The stage is yours. Thank you very, very much. Um, I would like to start by saying that this webinar is not a tutorial but it may be your first systematic and whirlwind tour of the Google Cloud ecosphere. Google is very, very big. It's just difficult to just go around Google in 50 minutes or one hour. Perhaps along the way, we will meet also other tools that I did not intend to discuss, but can be discussed. Our tour will examine Google's popular tools Maybe you are using some of them already, and why they are they are they are so popular, and how they can be integrated as a whole. It is both for beginners 
and long time users. For those with big or even no IT personnel, you can be able to use Google tools. It is for freelancers, for learners, and especially for teachers like most of us and are having the challenge of how to be able to kill distance, conquer distance by a digital means. So welcome to another productive Ariba experience. And before we begin, I'd like a small disclaimer. Number one, I am not an employee of Google. I am not an ambassador of Google. I am not an advocate of Google, nor an evangelist of Google. I am a long time user and now a Google lover. So who doesn't know Google? <laughs> With almost 3 billion users, Google has become everything to everyone. From photos to videos, from maps to cars, operating systems like Android and Chrome, to hardware like laptops, notebooks, pixel phones, and even the most sophisticated quantum computers. Google has a slew of sophisticated data analytic tools and advanced programming languages. That's why I love them so much. Google is a gigantic platform that spawns products and services in an increasingly innovation intensive and competitive environment. But for me, Google is still just a sweet little friendly platform that allowed me to continuously work, play, learn, communicate, and do business anytime. Anywhere, kitchen, toilet, classroom, garden, etc., 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 and with whatever equipment I have. In fact, it continues to fulfill my productivity and digital needs. Given our limited time, let's plan a 10 stop drone tour of Google Land. I will encourage you to, I will encourage you as we move along and I would like you to look at some of these tools together or in combination rather than individually. I will present them to you individually and so let's begin. I will give you 10 productivity tools. I was asked only eight but I'm sure you would want to have two more in addition. So let's begin. First step, of course, like many other software in the clouds, the first step is to register an account. So I hope that all of you will have your own account because I know that you have several accounts in many others, but maybe except Google. So this time, maybe it's a good time to register an account with Google. So go ahead, go to google.com and register an account. If you're already using any Google product, I will give you an example, Gmail, for example, then it's possible that you already have a Google account. If you're not sure, you can check by visiting my account, no space, dot Google dot com. I will just repeat that because it gives us a small secret. All right, the first one is called my account. That is called the, the tool. You will just replace that with the tool that you are interested in. And then you put a period, then you put the Google, and then you put another .com, and you will have an access to all the tools of Google. For example, if you want to go to Gmail, then all you have to do is replace the my account with Gmail. And then you put Gmail dot google.com, something like this. And so it will automatically bring you to wherever you like to go, whatever tools you like 
to do to access. With Google, you can have one or multiple accounts, one for your business, one for your school, and one for personal use. Just be sure that you have your passwords somewhere and they are not going to be lost or transferred anywhere else. Just update those passwords regularly and you can be safely in your, in your, uh, um, in your web, web sites. The second tool that I'd like to, and I will be a little bit faster now, the second tool is search. Who doesn't know about the search function of Google? I invented a very interesting uh, acronym that you can please memorize. It's called JGT, and it means just Google that. JGT is a very, very powerful tool that is now becoming the colloquial substitute for the English verb. Uh, excuse search. me, Doc, Doc Ed? Yes, please. Can, can you please share your PowerPoint slide? Yes. Yeah. So I haven't easy. done so yet because... Ah, you're still uh, just doing the introduction. Never mind. I, okay. I start that. Um, continue. And I have my... PowerPoint. All right. Share. So you can click share. Yep. There. And there you are. Wait. I will just go to where I am. Mm, the first slide. Yep. So the first one was just register. That's so easy. Just go to Google and then register. And now let's go to number two, which was search right and this is where we are this where we are right now search engine is google's killer app for the famous library services in the schools it's very difficult to find good schools with still library services because google has just become so ubiquitously ubiquitously the library of everybody so over time in the beginning, Google search was complicated. It uses what we call Boolean search algebra. <laughs> and I tell you, even I couldn't, couldn't operate it very, very well. But right now, because of the advantages of artificial intelligence or AI, Google search has become even friendlier and friendlier. In fact, so friendly that Google encourage you to talk to Google as if you are talking with another human being. So please don't ask cryptic questions with quotation marks, minus, plus, et cetera, et cetera. But you ask simple questions like, where am I? That is as if you are a human being talking to another human being. And we will do that. Now you can perform human-like searches Together with together with uh, tools like Google Google Assistant, which is the series, the, which is Google's series assistant, and you can talk to it, and it can find whatever it is you would like to search. So let's try let's try and try these searches. Sorry. Let's try these searches. If you go to google.com and you try to search, what is the longest word in the world? I'll give you a tip. It has some connection with C19, all right? And it has so many letters. Second, how do I know that I have C19? What, what are, what, how do I know that I have C19? You can do that with Google search. You can also type equals 45, multiplied by 534, raised to one half, or this is called the square root of 534. You can also ask a question, what time is it in Croatia now? And you can make your own timer, set a 20 minute timer. 
especially for teachers who are always having their time limits, then you can set a timer in Google. And the last question that I'd like to challenge you with is, where am I? If you type the question, where am I? Google will give you a map. And in the map, you can zoom in and in and in and in until you reach the rooftop of wherever you may be. That's really incredible. But I'll give you one more test. After this webinar, why don't you go to Google and search, type your name, your full name, and then let's see what Google knows about you that you don't know. Isn't that interesting? All right, guys, if you have not done so yet, why not make Google search as your default search engine? Let's go to number three. And I will do a little bit. I am so excited to give you this third tool. Very, very powerful. More powerful than the search engine. <laughs> and a way of introduction, I call it the best teacher in the world. So keep on guessing. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the next tool? And this is YouTube. YouTube is a Google company. So eclipsing Google search by traffic and use is YouTube. It's the most popular social media channel available now. In the case of the Philippines, we have one um, um, radio station that moved into YouTube instead of broadcasting from their original uh, broadcasting channel. So YouTube is a free video sharing site that make watching online videos as simple as eating popcorn. <laughs> Visitors watch about, take a note, six billion hours of videos monthly. There will be no other movies that can equal that. Six billion hours of videos monthly. You can even create, edit, chop, remix, and upload your own videos so that you can share it easily with others. This makes YouTube a powerful teaching instrument. Um, in addition to being a video provider, YouTube can create your, you can create in YouTube your own personal or business or school playlist so that your customers, your students, as well as your suppliers can be able to know what is the business that you are in. I like also to mention that it is a, it, it allows teachers to cut the videos so that they can post a question right on that cut, making the YouTube videos a tool for making visual quizzes. Guys, I don't like to leave YouTube because it is always my favorite. However, we have to go to the next one. And before we go back, we go to the next one, I just like to reiterate the following. First step, we register. Second step, we search. Third step, we watch videos. In the COVID-19, videos is becoming the most popular media for communication. Let's not talk about TikTok, which is a favorite, a favorite also of mine. All right, number four. Number four is the most important for your productivity. Without number four, it's very difficult to make anything move. And this is called the Google Calendar. It manages your time and actions. The calendar is the heart. It's the heart of Google's productivity tools. It operates offline and online. It is where you lay out your hours, days, weeks, months, and actions 
that you plan or you had taken. It ensures that all our appointments are kept on time. Calendar allows you to make as many calendars as you want. One for personal, one for work, one for family, one for holidays in your country, and another one for the birthdays of people you love most. And you can share your calendars so that if anybody is working with you, they will see whether you are busy or not busy at any moment in time. Calendar is so smart that you can also create to-do lists and set reminders. And Google continues to embed other tools, including the ability to make phone calls and video conferences. Isn't that incredible? And that is Google Calendar. And before I leave Google Calendar, I would like you to please check it out. I'm sure that you are using another kind of calendar, which might not jive or work together with your other tools, but please try the Google Calendar and start managing your only and the most important resource that you have in this pandemic times, your time. Then let's go to the next, number five. Number five is something that you and I know very well. Some of us who just was recently born will probably use this first. And this is called Gmail or the electronic messaging. So may I just push this, push this a little bit. That's your calendar. You can see how beautiful your calendar can be if you manage it very well. And the next one is Gmail. Gmail is our electronic messaging. Despite the proliferation of social media and chats, Gmail is still Google's most used for business electronic messaging tool. All right, I must admit, it is already showing its age, but still it is very useful to many of the top corporate executives and leaders of government. Gmail now have sophisticated filters. It can already filter out spams, ads, and promos, enabling you to focus on only emails that matter to you most. You can classify messages better, schedule the send off, and even make oops. Oops means you sent a message, but then you said, oops, it's wrong, or I must, I must have said something wrong. Then you recall. You can even recall those messages. So like the other tools that I am presenting, Google continues to make progress in advancing or modernizing the Gmail services. So give it a try once more, even if you had transferred to another e-messaging service. And now going to number six. I know you don't use this, <laughs> but for teachers, I beg you to try this. It's called Google Keep. Then you say, what? Google Keep. Google Keep is um, a note-taking and sticky um, um, tool. Um, the difference is that it's so smart. They are not just passive stickies or notes. They are so smart. You can click them and it will bring you somewhere. Google Keep is a most versatile note-taking tool that I have ever used while navigating the web. It takes your notes, clippings, sites, images, text, voice memos, as well as reminders and checklists. It, do, it even does to-do lists that you can link with calendar. And here I am slowly giving you the idea that all these tools can be linked together. Um, uh, you can also put them in separate color-coded sticky notes for 
filing, labeling, sorting, and eventually archiving. Besides communicating with other tools, listen to this. You can take a picture, JPG or PNG, and other pictures, and you convert it into text. It can do that. So it is really an incredible and powerful tool. So ladies and gentlemen, I gave you another three. The first one is for managing your time and action, and this is calendar. The second one is electronic messaging, Gmail. And the third one is note-taking and stickies. And I am towards the seventh. And I think this is the most important tool for researchers like me, but I will not be surprised if teachers would love them. This is Google's substitute for Dropbox. Dr. Ed, Dr. Ed uh, we're currently seeing the slide on the Gmail, yes. electronic messaging. Yes. And now I would like to show you, oh, sorry, I missed the kip. That's how the cape looks like. Just coming back, that's cape. You can see the colorful sticky notes. And then that is the cape. And now the number seven, we are going to Google Drive. I will be paying more attention to the PowerPoint. Sorry, I got okay. carried away. It's okay, Paul. Being a lover of Google. <laughs> All right, guys, so Drive is one of the most difficult um, tool to, this, to, 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 class it, to define because it has actually two main functions. First function is it's a storage device. A storage device, it gives you 15 gigabyte for free or 1.99 per month uh, price of a peanut. <laughs> And you can also have 100 gigabyte for 995, 999 per month. And you can have one gigabyte for that. You can put many things there, pictures, files, software. I, I create computer programs, so I put them there. Likewise, websites, et cetera, et cetera. But the other one, which is equally important, drive service is... Yeah, is what we call the Google Suite. The Google Suite is actually the replacement or the substitute of Google for word processing. It's called Google Docs. Spreadsheet, it's called Google Sheet. And Presentation Maker, and it's called Slides. I know they might sound a little bit strange to you, because you are so familiar with Microsoft Office. I wouldn't say that it is as good as Microsoft Office. However, if you just add the customizable add-ons in the Google Play, then it will perform super power stuff. So let me show you just a little bit. Here you can also have so many, so many templates on your Google Docs, and then so many templates on your Google Sheet that you can, you can use practically up, after opening. And you have so many templates for your uh, Google Slides. I use Google Slides if I know that my audience is already tired with presentation PowerPoint. So I use Google Slides. But there are two other tools that I like to mention that I thought is very, very interesting. One is called Google Form. Google Form is the most versatile um, part of this office suite. Google Form makes forms for crafting fillable forms, surveys, quizzes, and tests. And it collects the responses Listen to this. It collects the responses without you doing anything. And then it analyzes and creates visualization of the responses as the responses come in real time. 
and they do this, it does this automatically. Then you can see here some of the analytics that it performs all automatic, no, no additional effort on your part. This is Google Play that adds functionality and add-ons to your Google Suite that makes it almost comparable with the most expensive word processing, spreadsheet, and presentation software. Um, number eight is for teachers. <laughs> I think you already know what I, I meant. And this is the Google Classroom. Can you imagine, I taught a group of teachers what's called digital teaching. And the first thing I said is, we are going to create your own special classroom. They were all shocked, show us, show us. And in seven minutes, you have your own classroom with your students, with your subjects, with your lesson plans and your activities. I repeat that, seven minutes. You, you, you cannot do that with, with any other way except Google Classroom. So with Google Classroom, you can conduct remote classes. And even before the pandemic, it was already available with Google. Google already predicted that there is going to be a pandemic, that's why. So it simplifies connecting with students and parents, creating, distributing, grading of assignments. They are done automatically by the Google Classroom. So your grading woes are over. And then in a paperless way, no paper whatsoever, while engaging both teachers and students proactively. With little tweaking, Google Classroom can also deliver e-learning and workforce learning systems. In fact, I use it to create curated blended learning for my corporate clients. Then we go to <laughs> the most favorite and actually the one we are using right now, the replacement for Zoom. This is called Google Meet. I know, I know, I know you haven't used Google Meet yet. Why? <laughs> because in the beginning it wasn't free. But as soon as the COVID-19 came, Google just rolled it out free. So now you can have 16 participants and have a, a conference using Google Meet. And just two hours ago, two hours ago, Google announced that they are going to combine the chat, hangouts, and two other programs together so that it will make Google Meet one of the best video conferencing options for the other guy called Zoom. There is a difference between Zoom, Team, and Meet. Meet is purely browser-based. No, nothing to download, nothing to, nothing to put inside your computer. It's all in the cloud. So for productive meetings, try Meet. They are free anyway. So it's a good chance to explore and expand possibilities. Final tool. Everybody wants to have web presence. Web presence. Web presence is tool allows you, uh, Google allows you to create websites free. So if you go to sites.google.com, you can create a free website. You can use templates and drop down objects instead of HTML and CSS languages. No need for that. No need for an IT person, but you can learn by yourself and then try it so that you can create a website that your customers, students, as well as suppliers would be able to interact with you. Well, guys, there you are. I have 10 stuff for you. Um, just by way of summarizing and giving you a good uh, idea of what we can do with it. Whoops, sorry, I go back. 
may I just show it to you again? First is we registered. Second, we search. And that's also the that's also the icon for that. Third is we went to YouTube, the best teacher in the world. Then we went to Gmail. Then the, we, we have the heart of it all, the calendar. Then we went to Google Kips, the one that handles the stickies and very important notes. Then you have Google Meet. Then the Google Classroom. Then you have your Google Drive. And the last but not the least, the Google Site. I just like to mention one important aspect. And this is how did we get into Google? How did we learn about Google? All right. Um, when the pandemic, before the pandemic, we learned Google in a step-by-step -step way. We went to Gmail, we mastered Gmail, and then we went to searching we mastered how to search in fact right now if people will tell you do you want to be smart learn how to search and you are going to be really considered a smart person and then we are learning google one tool at a time this is what i call learning it the google way or the lego way you remember the lego you have a lego when you were a child, you saw that, oh, this is a colored yellow, this is a colored green, and then you connect it. And then as you age, you start learning how to make human beings, dogs, cats, etc., etc. And because of that, your, your method of learning is something like the way you learn Google. You, you try to play, and then after that, you try to use, and then after that, you try to create, and then you apply. For Google, this is not the best after the pandemic. After the pandemic, try to learn as many of these tools as you can simultaneously. Each of these tools are integrated whole. That is why when a school or when a business or when you yourself start asking, how do I digitalize, please, digitalize by looking at one set of tools like Google and let them work together, let them serve you better, and let them work for you. Did I mention that they are all free? Yes, they are all free. And if you have already mastered them all, and if all your workers in your company are already familiar with them, then the next step for digitalization can be taken. And that will be to advance more into a more sophisticated languages and suite for productivity improvement. So guys, what should I say? <laughs> My final advice is something like this. If you are just about to begin in your journey towards digitalization, after COVID or even before COVID, and you are watching how COVID changed your business, your life, your work from home, your productivity engagement with people, and most of all, your relationship with people, please try Google because it will be your cheapest, easiest, fast to learn, and fast to deploy digital platform. Thank you very much, guys. I leave everything to Howell, who is a very good facilitator. So thank you so much, Sir Ed. Sure, sure. Hi. Thank you, Howell. Thank you, thank you. Sir Ed, that was uh, one of the most, I mean, uh, informative 40 minute presentation I've seen. So thank far. you. Thank you, sir. Sir Ed, we'll be pausing for a yeah, we'll be pausing for a two-minute break, sir Ed. You can grab a cup of coffee or something uh, to enable on, and we will be looking at the Q and A box. So for all of you who would like to ask a question, so nakita ko kasi sir Ed while you were presenting, a lot of uh, people chatting are asking if it's for free, and you mentioned it. You have answered it. 
it's for free. Yeah. So now, Sir Ed, uh, before we pause for a break, let me uh, just greet our birthday celebrants. Benjamin Ooh. Oteza, yeah, and Annie Rose Cabanit, Amanda Grace Paray, Rochelle Mantes, Isabelita Castor, and Sunshine Marco. Happy, happy birthday to all of you. <laughs> now, for our participants here at the Zoom room, type in your question at the Q&A box during a two-minute break, and it's first come, first serve. So with that, thank you so much. Don't go away, everyone. We'll be right back in two minutes. We promise that. <laughs> 